it is not your fault. I, this word is for somebody who's watching me right now. It is not for everyone. Brothers and sisters, it is not your fault that you are in that problem. It is not your fault that you are in that situation, that predicament. Somebody is responsible for your predicament. The enemy is responsible for what you are going through. The, you know, the enemy can come in many forms. The enemy can come in as your friend, as your relative. And they pretend as though they love you. And yet their main goal is to destroy your life. Jesus spoke of a parable of the terrors. And a man planted good seed. He sowed good seed. But while men slept, the enemy planted in terrors. Some of you, while you are sleeping, the enemy is planting in his own terrors. Terrors are like weeds. They are similar to the same plant. I'll read to you the scripture so that some of you may get an understanding of the scripture. The scripture is in the book of Matthew chapter 13 verse 24. Matthew chapter 13 verse 24. And it reads, Another parable he put forth to them saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed terrors among the wheat and went his way. He went his way. Some of you, while you are sleeping, the enemy sowed uh, his own bad seed, terrors, and went his way. Whenever, sometimes whenever you see somebody leaving you, there is a reason as to why they have left you. Some of them are, have come in your life for a reason, to destroy your life. And just after they have planted in their traps, they go their way. He went his way. The enemy went his way. No wonder, in, you, some of you are wondering, immediately that person left, your life became uh, a mess. Your life started uh, falling down. In fact, some, some, sometimes, Immediately you, you entertain someone in your lives, your life goes down. All of a sudden you were doing well. But the more you accept somebody into your life, your life is destroyed. You are no longer the same again. Your business is, is destroyed. Your marriage is not the same like how it used to be. The enemy has done it. The enemy has done it. Now, the scripture says in verse uh, 26, it says, But when the grain had sprouted, and produced a crop, then the terrors also appeared. So the servants of the owner came and said to him, Sir, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have terrors? Then he said to them, An enemy has done this. An enemy has done this. Some of you have done good. But all of a sudden to find out that your life is not uh, doing the way you expected it to be. You have sown good seed. You have sown seeds of love. Seeds of uh, compassion. You have been good to the kingdom of God. But you do not see results. The enemy has done this. My brothers and sisters, this message is, it is not your fault. Quit complaining. Do not be in a, a, in a sorry state. Do not be pitiful. Do not blame yourself for that condition. It is not your fault. There are forces behind your destruction. There are forces behind your misery. There are altars that are, were set up, brothers and sisters. Altars that you did not know. There are foundations, evil foundations, that were set up, some of them by your relatives, by people you called friends. Altars to destroy you. Foundations to destroy you. But I decree and declare that whatever foundation, whatever seed of the enemy that was sown in your life, I destroy it with fire in the name of Jesus. It will no longer have effect on you. Brothers and sisters, this is grace. And I've come to the end of this message. If you have been blessed by this message and you want to uh, me to pray with you, you can do so through uh, my 
Facebook page, you can send me a message through my Facebook page. Or you can send me a message through my email address and I will respond to you. I will pray with you. Also, if you want to be a blessing to this ministry and you want to uh, give, you can do so through my PayPal account. My PayPal account is in the link in the description. And God will bless you. Until next time, Shalom.